send, send Gooch down backwards. I'd let him take a free ride, but he'd end up in the cattails. I'd have to go in and get him, and I'd probably get all scratched up. <clears throat> all righty. Ice fishing freaks, what is up? Luke Reeser here from Too Fat to Hunt Outdoors. Welcome back to yet another ice fishing adventure. It's butt cold again. Uh, it's under 10 for sure. I think it's like 5 or 6 degrees. But anyways, we're going to do a little afternoon pound here and see if we can get some bluegills. We have a major storm front coming in tonight. And for the next two days, we're supposed to get over a foot of snow. And it's supposed to be like 50 mile an hour wind gusts and super cold. Like... 20 blow at the wind chill maybe colder than that even so hopefully these fish are going to be feeding tonight knowing that 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 weather's on its way so anyways normal stuff today got the shocker shocker long rods with we're going to use them widowmaker jigs and drastic plastics see if we can make her happen stay tuned donkey hunting starts right now I'm trying to get my depth set and there's already fish trying to eat my jig. First fish. What do we got? Feels pretty small. Well, average size gill. Not a terrible one. Another one. This one feels really little. Yep. Alright, so I started with the mud bug fluke. It's the same one I had on when I ended my last trip and after catching two fish with it here it was pretty stripped out so put a new one on <clears throat> this is what I got here purple three millimeter Cadis cane by Widowmaker Jurassic Plastics Ice Fluke and purple we'll try that if I don't get a bite right away, you know, I might switch back to mud bug because I just caught two fish in about a minute with the mud bug. But I figured out, ah, try something different. Let's go with Perpsies. And I miss one. A lot of fish down there. There he is.
Little fighting machine. Got another one. This hole is loaded up, but I'd like to be a little bigger fish. Down there's probably a seven. There he is. A little cat and mouse with this guy. I think I missed him like four times. Not terrible. Decent. Seven and three quarter probably. Do, 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 do. My Markham sitting co kind of cockeyed there. Oh well. Still works just as good, huh? Just looks funny. Here comes a fishka. So we're going to be picky all of a sudden. Well, I'm going to put on the Lake Tyler special. Middle colored fluke. Seems to be usually what I do the best on out here. Figured I'd try some other stuff, but yeah, got me three keepers and a bunch of dinks. Seems like they won't commit now to the purple. There we go. This guy's digging. He don't want to come up. He's in the transducer. That's a decent one there. Oh. Yeah, buddy. Another bad fish. Got him. A little digging dude. <laughs> I am the king this year of letting him slide down the line. We'll throw him back. He's not quite seven. Gotcha. This one feels okay. Whatever he is, he's making me work for him. That's a good gill right there. You bet. Take them all day. That's like my favorite perfect eating size right there. It's about an eight and a half. Probably eight and a quarter. I don't know. Perfect eating size. I'll throw the really big ones back. If I get a 10 incher. Yeah, buddy. I do. I have two 10 inchers in the freezer still that I'm going to get mounted. But, you know, other than that, I'm not going to keep them to eat them. Because those are the ones that really, really reproduce. And it kind of depends on the day, but I have no problem keeping like seven and a half to nine inches. But right about that eight, eight and a half, they're the they're the ticket for me. Gotcha, buddy.
tricked you. This one feels decent, maybe not. Yeah, not too bad. <laughs> That'll work. That will work. Oh. There he is. Ooh, we got a digger here. Stay out of the deucer, buddy. Stay out of the deucer. That's a good one. Yeah. Eight or nine more of them and we'll be eating good tonight. I'm gonna try something bold here. Let's try a little chartreuse action. I don't think I've ever tried this out here at this lake. But last year at Lake Meat, I had some phenomenal days with the purple chartreuse jig with a chartreuse fluke. So we'll give it a try. Bold move, Cotton. Get the gloves back on. Keep my digits from getting frost nipper. Pretty bold. I don't know if they'll eat it here or not, but we're gonna give it a whirl. Gotcha. Well chartreuse action. It's pretty bright. <laughs> I thought he was stuck in the transducer. But he was just stuck in the hole. It's pretty bright down there. It's almost like glow in the dark. He got her. Got another one. Why have I not been using this? There's another one. Whoever is trying to call me, you're gonna have to wait till I get this fish off. There we go. What do we got? Felt really little at first, but sure is digging. Oh yeah. Come on, be a bluegill or a crappie. Nice gill. You betcha. Switch to a bone bug. <laughs> I probably should have done it a while ago. Because for quite a while I've been getting just 
either tiny little nips where they won't take it or just followers and lookers which is usually means you got a downsize or switch to something else because they're not eating and I've been stubborn because it's so cold I really didn't want to dig in my pocket switch baits and bone bugs are really hard to put on when, it's, when your fingers are numb gotcha buddy little digger -ruski. There he is. About the same size as the last one. He inhaled it. There he is, folks. This one might keep. Doesn't feel very big, but he's all right. Oh. Not big, but He'll make a sandwich today. There's one. We got an angry dude here. Might be a good one. Might be a good one. He's acting like a good one. He's a good one. He's a decent one. Well, folks, that's a wrap. Uh, not quite what I thought it would be tonight, but it wasn't bad. I cannot complain. Uh, I'm going home with 15 bluegills. Oh, that's going to be a pretty good meal for me tonight. And with this snow coming in, and I'm off tomorrow, and I doubt I'll fish tomorrow because the roads are going to be terrible, and I don't need to be out on them. So tomorrow I'll probably take tomorrow and uh, do a bleep, bleep, bleep. So tomorrow is probably going to turn into an editing day and uh, cook some fish. So drink some coffee, eat some fish, do some editing. It'll be a nice little day. I don't know. I don't know if I have enough time to do everything. I don't know if we'll have enough time. Do you uh, key baits today out here are uh, ice flukes and bone bugs. Uh, the bite kind of shut off and I was getting a lot of chasers so I downgraded, went to a bone bug and started getting bit and then filled my limit up pretty fast with that. Anyways, <laughs> like I've said in the last two videos, I can't feel my fingers so I'm out of here. Luke Reeser signing off. Always remember, you're never too fat to fish.